Hi, and welcome to tonight's Readings in Contemporary Poetry series. I'm Alexis Lowry, and I'm an associate curator here at DIA. Um, and I'm thrilled that you are joining us for this exciting and unique um, event in this wonderful series that Vincent has been curating for us for the last five years. Um, he's brought us a diverse group of poets here to DIA Chelsea um, to share their work. And I'm really pleased that our two poets for this evening, Tracy Morris and Sheila Patterson, have agreed to join us. Um, so thank you both for generously accepting to be part of the series. It's really nice to have you. Um, Readings in Contemporary Poetry is supported by New York City Department of Cultural Affairs. And we also want to thank Brooklyn Brewery for the wonderful beer. Um, the complimentary beverages. Um, and I'm deeply appreciative of the assistance from all of Dia's staff. We have a wonderful team here that helps coordinate this series, in particular Kelly, Francesca, Megan, Mary Catherine, Maria, Max, who's hiding behind there, um, Allison, Clara, and Katie. Following our first reader, we're going to have a brief intermission before resuming our second reader. It'll be 10 to 15 minutes. I'll get up and announce it, though. Um, we have titles by both of the authors here um, for sale during intermission. They're cash only. Um, and now it's my pleasure to introduce our curator, Vincent Katz, who's going to introduce tonight's speakers. Thank you, Alexis, and thank you all for coming out tonight. This is a very, it's going to be a very exciting event. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. We have had music here in this series, um, but not as often as I would like. So, you know, really excited about it. I just wanted to mention two upcoming readings. This is our second reading of the fall season. On uh, November 10th, we've got Bob Hirshhorn and Simon Pettit. And on December 8th, Alan Davies and Amy King. So please come out to those readings as well. And I'd like to also, in, in addition to Alexis's welcomes, to welcome Marvin Sewell, who'll be performing with Tracy Morris a little later on. Our first reader of the evening will be Sheila Patterson. Born and raised in Brooklyn, Sheila Patterson is an activist, poet, and scholar. Her poems have appeared in anthologies, newspapers, magazines, journals, experimental theater, bureaucratic documents, and a feature film. She has received fellowships from the Bronx Writers' Center and Cave Canem, and was a resident scholar artist at the Urban Issues Institute at Essex County College. Recently, Patterson was the humanities partner for Jack, an arts center in Brooklyn, and developed an after-school theater arts curriculum for the city of Newark with the administration of Mayor Baraka. Patterson has an MFA in creative writing from City University of New York, Hunter College, and a PhD in English with a focus on critical and cultural studies from the University of Pittsburgh. She lives in Newark. In Sheila Patterson's long poem, Dear Anna, she manages to transform her desire and admiration for a fellow poet into a work that, while seeming to be made of literal transcriptions of prose text messages, also stretches out into a new poetic form. Dear Anna, Sometimes we wake up on a Sunday and choose not to go for a run and instead make a cortado and sit down to comment on papers. But sometimes the news of the day before weighs heavily. Sometimes in those times we turn to poetry. Some of us even have large collections of collections from which to choose in that moment. Everything in Patterson's poems is there for a reason. There is always muscle an idea behind the words. It is personal, but is attempting to push out to the larger world. Nothing is pure embellishment or pure sound or fancy. 
In a shady promise, she seems to be writing out of the classic anthropophagist manifesto of the Brazilian Oswald de Andrade, who believed the new world chews up the influences that infuse it, creating a new, more powerful amalgam. Patterson writes, if we swallow it to transform it, we regurgitate bits like candy with which others can sweeten their mouths, taste our futures as shared desire. Prepare to taste the future of shared desire. Please join me in welcoming Sheila Patterson. such a wonderful introduction. Um, I want to um, thank Dia for inviting me to read here um, and for everyone to, for, for coming out. I'm reading with Tracy Morris, which we haven't done together since, um, since the graduate reading at Hunter College in uh, 2001. <laughs> So it's very exciting. Um, and it's an honor to read with her. She's one of my favorite poets and um, has been a wonderful mentor and friend. I remember her, seeing her perform at BAM Cafe years ago um, with her band. And she did a piece with the word revolution in it. And that busted open in my imagination what it was possible to use poetry for. So when I knew that I was reading with Tracy here at DIA, uh, I thought I'd better step up my game. Seriously. <laughs> so to do that, I worked with artist and public practitioner Chloe Bass to plan this reading. Um, and I want to thank Chloe, who dedicated many hours talking to me about my work. And it was an honor to work closely with someone so generous with her brilliance and time. So as you may have noticed, you have a gift at your seat. Chloe designed them. So please keep the gift close. We will be using them later in the reading. Um, I also want to thank the staff at DIA, um, Megan, Vincent, Francesca, and Max, who all um, were very gracious and organized um, as we were planning the reading. So to start with, um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna begin with uh, two short poems that are, I think of as kind of a pair and of animal transformation poems. Sometimes a flock of Canadian geese fly by my wall that is a window. In V formation, the birds are my window glass. You can hear them at first bark of love. Watch out this air drift taking us mad close to buildings. The song of their calls, the speed of wings cut the soft glow of the old stone basilica. For a moment, slow Sunday dawn bursts with the breaths of span and flight. Am I inside the glass wall? I am flying with the geese. Peaceable. A flock of birds flocking in a circle, circle the fluorescent clouds. Did you hear the rain? I woke to God's translation of kissing to drums. Mornings now where from outline of breasts you finger traced a butterfly. So this, uh, the next poem is part of a larger pro project that the poet Rachel Levitsky suggested I work on. Um, and so for those of you who don't know Rachel, that she started Belladonna Press, and the publication that I have here for sale is part of their chapbook series. Um, I don't really have much work in it myself, but I co-edited it with Soretta Morgan and Robert Whitehead through Shirley, um, which is a project that we were doing earlier this year to build old school civic consciousness among the reluctant gentrifiers. <laughs> so the, the chaplet also features FOC 2.0, which is the after school program I worked on in Newark. Um, and so oftentimes the activist work of poets goes undocumented. So it's not incidental that Rachel, that it was Rachel who founded a press that is able to publish what is normally ephemeral. I am super proud of the chapbook and encourage everyone to buy a copy. The poem I'm going to read next is not in it, 
but, um, but from the project that Rachel suggested I work on around the tenants' movement building in Newark. It's a found poem from a newspaper article about one of our victories that we're now in the process of fighting to keep. Um, the first line is from a Wordsworth poem, for the tenants of the zone that lies beyond the stars. The old rules also allow owners to ask the city to raise rents in vacant apartments up to 25% if they show proof that they spent $100 or more per room to rehabilitate the unit. But the new ordinance caps the increase to 20% and raises the threshold to request a higher rent to $5,000 per room in a given unit. Landlords argue the figure is just too high. So the, the, the next poem is, is also from a, from a series, um, and it was, this is a series um, I did in 2010, and it's, uh, the poems are written in the voice of four different characters, and they all grew up in different, on different planets in the near future and met while at fashion school in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. on Earth. So the poem I'm going to read is in the voice of the real, who is from the planet Ropesnod, which is a planet of revolutionaries. Um, and the real is an anagram for leather. The real on hope. We sleep under stars a lot, know the moons of many planets, the different colors of galaxy skies, the edge of verse where words ripple into song like matter bursting into looks and lumen, lucere, luna, yug, electromagnetic rays that flood the retina cascading sight into possible. If you believe a number can be put to that brilliance, meaning if you believe in vacuums and life without breath, silly Cartesians, we give you 299,792,458 meters per second, our hearts. So we're now, we're now gonna do something a little different. We're gonna have a break where you get to use your gifts. Um, so if you, if you look at the pen or pencil that was on your seat, um, and if you have the pen, then if you have better eyes than I do, you will notice that it has a question on it. Um, so I'm gonna now ask you to talk to each other. Um, I invite you to use the question as a prompt to get to know your neighbor a little better. So if possible, try to talk to somebody behind, in front, or next to you who you do not already know. Um, and I'll set my timer for five minutes um, so that we can make sure we're respectful of the, you know, the, t the length of the, of the reading. So you have the, you have the question, read it, and then just talk to your neighbor about it for, for five minutes minutes.
Okay. So I'm going to pull everybody back now. I'm going to try and pull you guys back now. <laughs> I, have, I have a time limit. I do have other poems to read. But, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you to, um, that you've just been talking, so I'm going to invite you to continue thinking about how you prepare yourself for radical change by writing out your ideas using the pen or pencil um, on the index card provided or in your own journal. And I'm going to continue reading. Um, you should feel comfortable writing as I read because the next poem I'm going to read was written while I was sitting in the audience of a poetry reading because I don't know if you know poets, poets sometimes do that like we'll write our own poems like just take the energy so so I did that with this poem um, so woven throughout the uh, the poem are lines that I heard while listening to um, Sharon McDermott and then the second poet was Tim Siebel's um, I began the poem on the bus ride to the reading. This was in Pittsburgh in like 2006, maybe. Um, and, and then I just kept writing the poem once I got there. So if you still have ideas in your head um, from the conversations that, you know, please, please write as, as, I, as I read. I'm not ready for this. I want to feel the beauty of I suck as a poet for I have the smell in the air after I haven't forgiven myself fully to be writing. I just want this stamp evening. No vocabulary, no understanding. Downpour is the grass for my form of grew up to numb myself the smell of spring of why things happen. The soil, wet bark in the 1980s passing. East Liberty Presbyterian Church Cathedral has new banners, hands in the color of flags, gay pride and black pride. The Kelly Strayhorn Theater. Headlights search me out, parade past magnolias, the road lush and dangerous, individual bees black on black touching everything at once. Peacock crossing sign, petting zoo below thumps his chest. For whom does he pray? Dense waves of rage. How quickly we become married, which is the one thing we're not, a grotto of sun pit hard in the palm. Why am I such a tool, such an obsessed with rules? R.I.P. She wanted to be a ladder ruler, idiot. When I feel that much, it's hard to put into worlds how I wonder where you are. What does it mean? Give me the symbol, a minstrel man in blackface dead on my lap. Cat Stevens, answer. Yellow shoes, their sneakers, pumas, the sneakers that look more like slippers and sandals now look like sneakers, a matching yellow shirt and brown plaid vest. Sharpening her wit against my, the debris in my pocket, it's her favorite thing to do, love the surprise, the slip of her hand in my pocket, love the known, there will be something in there, baby, the surprise, I'm so happy to see you, and yes, that's a ball of silver candy wrappers, yes, that's a salty napkin from yesterday's margarita, and yes, that's a toothpick splinter fresh off the boat, yes, that's who's got the monopoly on your identity, the idea of a master trope. I won't believe there are masters. Why is this or this more interesting, more important than this institutional mediation? When Toy heard Anne read, she heard waves. She heard waves with each conditional. She could enter the evening sky, means the universe is had a girlfriend that nobody ever saw, hot like the inside of a fat man's sweatpants. Check out the coyote and roadrunner. It's like I'm hungry because somebody else wants to eat. Help my mojo grow healing power of what you, I mean I, I am stepping into a new place. Sometimes I can't stand the anger. Sometimes all I want to do is hate. Sometimes that feels like the easiest way to get through this. And so, how to write the space where I'm falling apart. Everything, all the books, words, theories that I have read crashing in. And so as I write, I must remember from where, from whom, but that black hole as a place of being. What has died in me? What have I been trying to kill? Why my love so tight, so strong, such a fist of bricks? I write with the ruler poised above my knuckles. I write with the ruler poised above my knuckles. I write with the ruler poised above my knuckles. I write with the ruler poised above my knuckles.
poised above my knuckles, I write with the ruler poised above my knuckles. Right. <clears throat> so I have, I have two more poems. Um, this next one is another long one. Um, it's for my friend Lakitha, and uh, I don't know how she is so strong. Dear Anna, yesterday morning, no, first Saturday morning, no, first Friday evening, so tired, fell asleep in the bed on top of covers, jeans on, before or as or just after a text. Hi, Sheila, apprehension. Is everything okay? I haven't heard from you in a while. Apprehension. Those were at 8.41 p.m. on Friday. Then at 5.10 a.m., a phone call, early, disconcerting, in bed, jeans on, trying to wrap the comforter around from outside. Kiki's oldest got killed. Sometimes a text is noticed hours after it was sent. Saturday, 2.10 a.m., Shasha got killed. Apprehension. Sometimes a text prefigures an event. Sometimes even there is no guilt for not acting. The newspaper article, http colon forward slash forward slash www period nj period com forward slash Essex forward slash index period SSF forward slash 2015 forward slash zero four forward slash authorities underscore investigating underscore fatal underscore shooting underscore of underscore 19 hyphen E period HTML. Dear Anna, on March 29th, I want a copy of your book in a raffle. But because you didn't actually have a copy, and Z's copy had a coffee stain on the cover that arrived in the mail like that, which we found aggressively odd, it being published by Coffee House Press, <laughs> you would have to send the winner of your book a copy in the mail. But because the winner would have to wait for the book, they would also get a copy of your first book. I don't know if you remember, but right before the winner was called, I called out, winner, as if I were the winner as a way to let it be known I wanted to be the winner, and then the number was called, and I was winner. And because my sister was host and your student, she said that you didn't have to mail them, that you could give them to her at school, and then she would get them to me. But then she forgot to bring them to Easter, so when I saw her on Tuesday night coming in with you, I said to her, do you have my books? And she immediately turned and went back to the house, which was just across the street from where we all were, and brought the two books and also the jars of jam my older sister sent for Christmas, and a gift in a black velvet jewelry bag from my mom for my birthday. Dear Anna, sometimes we wake up on a Sunday and choose not to go for a run, and instead make a cortado and sit down to comment on papers. But sometimes the news of the day before weighs heavily. Sometimes in those times we turn to poetry. Some of us even have large collections of collections from which to choose in that moment. Dear Anna, this is a thank you letter. Dear Anna, the title of your first book is I Have Not Been Able to Get Through to Everyone. Dear Anna, the only time I met Shaheem Rawls was a few years ago at the college when his mother was trying to get him into the Gateway program. It's a program to try to get te teenagers who are in the school to prison pipeline on a different track. I walked around with him and his mom getting the materials he needed to take the test and talk test taking strategies with him. He got into the program, but maybe he was already locked up by the time it started or was about to be. Maybe he chose not to go. That was the only time I met him. But sometimes his mother would come over to my house after visiting him in jail, and we would read and write poetry because we have a lot of the same favorite ones. Baraka, Cortez, Delaney, Ginsburg, Dear Anna, when you see a book in your house with the title, I have not been able to get through to everyone, you want it to be about what you are dealing with. 
but you wonder if a collection published by a publisher self-published as foremost and fine and bell and wanting to delight could really be wickedly clever wordplay as earnest stoicism. But then you do think, because you have it here in your living room only as a result of a series of serendipitous occurrences, and you open it, and it says, I have not been able to get through to everyone as its title on the title page. Can it be enough for right now just to say thank you? It was helpful because you describe lists and language and the building with 900 plus men and the way mail moves through the public and private because you say an open letter in an open foyer is not as big a temptation as you might think. Because you say thinking I might write an optimistic poem, I loaded a font called Utopia. It crashed my computer. <laughs> Because you use the word ethics a lot and turn I into an object and have a section on the De Dependence Day parade. Because somehow you wrote a book that arrived in my house three days before my friend's son got killed that when I read it, it is not as escape. It hits right where I know the day I met him was the day we lost him, except he was already lost. But whatever we showed him, this alternate path was not enough for him to change direction because I have not been able to get through to everyone. And you have written a book where it is helpful to make sense of that on cultural and bureaucratic and linguistic and aphoristic and maybe even I have hope I might get to know him better in the dead man looks into his own dead ear. Dear Anna, most mornings, when I look out my window, I see the silver lines and angles of the NYC skyline. This morning, it is raining, and the fog so thick I can barely see the abandoned factory just on the other bank of the Passaic. The goal today is to see if we can get permission for his younger brother to attend the funeral on a bracelet. Comment on papers. Laundry. And uh, so I just have, I have one more for you. Um, and it's, it's a shorter poem. The last two I know were, were long. Um, and it was, it was recently published in um, The Future Imagined Differently, which is a special issue of About Place that was edited by Patricia Spears Jones. Um, so I encourage everyone to go check that out, it's online. Um, also, I just wanna have a note where if you want to share what you wrote with me, um, you can give me your index card after the reading or you can take a picture of it and send me, um, send me a picture of what you wrote. Um, and my email address, if you, wanna, if you want to do this, I'm gonna, you can write it down, is uh, swpatters, that's S-W-P-A-T-T-E-R-S at gmail.com. Um, and so I'll, you know, if I get images, I'm gonna post them on my blog, because um, I, I have a blog I can do that on. And the blog is uh, learning the limits of blogger.blogspot.com. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, the title of this poem is taken from a Wangechi Mutu. Um, and uh, it, has a, it has an epigraph, so a shady promise. I just want to hold you in speckled green light, Charlotte Henne. Desire, lived experience in an alternate dimension, cuts through the present here in this geopolitical colonized and ruled space. We have commitments maintaining certain bourgeois and colonial order that our touching would shatter. Our revolutionary journeys are tied to commitments by choice, not necessity. The path of patience and discipline is an ethics. In a highly controlled society, how can we change it but by eating it? If we can swallow it, we can change it. If we break it, how many are broken in the process? Whether any one of us wanted to or not, we entered a polyamorous relationship. What do we do next? 
name it different as masquerade, sometimes to face things straight on turns us to stone. As queer, black, indigenous women, there are things we can see easier. If we want to bring along on our journeys the others we love, we have to learn to pr provide appropriate mirrors at appropriate angles so others can see glimpses without the terrifying hole. If we swallow it to transform it, we regurgitate bits like candy with which others can sweeten their mouths, taste our futures as shared desire. If we touch, the scream would let loose too much chaos at too much cost. I have chosen which and have let loose the banshees somewhere else. Please don't call them back. Thank you. Tracy Morris is a poet who has worked as a page-based writer, sound poet, critic, singer, scholar, band leader, actor, and multimedia performer. She's the author of Intermission, Soft Skull Press, 1998, Rhyme Scheme, Zasterly Press, 2012, which includes a CD, which I believe we have copies of here, hand-holding five kinds, which will be published by Corey Press later this year. She is co-editor with Charles Bernstein of Best American Experimental Writing, forthcoming in 2016 from Wesleyan University Press. She has contributed to and been written about in several anthologies of literary criticism, including The Racial Imaginary, Writers on Race in the Life of the Mind, the Breakbeat Poets, What I Say, Innovative Poetry by Black Writers in America, Eco Language Reader, and An Exaltation of Forms. Her sound installations have been presented at numerous institutions, including the Drawing Center, Thomas Hirshhorn's Gramsci Monument, presented by Dia Art Foundation, The Kitchen, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Whitney Biennial. Morris is a professor and coordinator of performance and performance studies at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. Tracy Morris's poetics is sexy, not only in her jazz poems. Jazz is always sex, not only, but always. Her poems are sexy, but so is her poetics. Her tics are sex. But she is also seeing things that are out of time, those histories of families, places, people. Everything is color, and color always has meaning. But Morris lets the meanings come to you if necessary. The words in her poems signify without being literal, as in this excerpt from If I Reviewed Her, the gray is tin pan alleys, the percussive keys New York. There is not the softness the name implies, but the black and white holds up. Color, the quick rhythm, the 88 lucky numbers one hope one hits, dark custom and no grayscale, a hardened snapshot, snaps shut. Tracy's poetry speaks for a generation, for generation but she also goes way back, all the way back, and part. Her poem, Preemie, Baby Girl Morris, Two Pounds, Zero Ounces, has an almost Elizabethan tone, quote, my coating color of an artificial sun, already bored with repetitious day, asks me, what's night like? We need to be reminded, so brief was our stay. Enjoy her stay at Dia before she moves and after. Please join me in welcoming Tracy Morris to Dia. Sexy, well, I don't have a comment about that. 
I do have a comment about how fabulous and fierce Sheila Patterson is. Come on, dude, come on. I am not going to cry and be all mushy about how proud I am of her. I said as my face fogs up, but she is fabulous. And it's such an honor to read with her. And it's so wonderful to be back at DIA um, after that extraordinary experience with Thomas Hershon, which I'm still processing. I was also thinking about, um, so I had this, my essay is very strange. <laughs> in it, and it's because at the time that I was um, working on the uh, project, the time that I was scheduled to perform at the project, I was partially blind because of this weird infection that I had in my eye. Um, it's very interesting to think about what Sheila prompted us to think about radical change when one is radically transformed. Um, uh, so I appreciate the, that prompt. And, um, and I appreciate having like an extra set of pen and pencils because it's a room full of writers. <laughs> and you know, we're grabbing those pen tchotchkes. Um I wanna thank the staff of DIA who's fabulous and they did everything from um, being elegant at the sound check to helping make sure that my costume was put together because you know I asked, is it all right? Um, so I appreciate that and um, Nice looking crowd, nice crowd, gotta say. I'm gonna start off uh, reading a poem that I almost never read outside of Colorado. And I was thinking about reading it and then Sheila convinced me. It's a poem that I wrote when Sheila and I were both in grad school, but this was not a class we were in together and I missed you in this class, honey. We'll talk about that later. He used to kiss my hand for Allen Ginsberg. This was uh, about a year after he died. One of the things you should know is that he's a Gemini. It is relevant. In the poem, he used to kiss my hand. Oh, Allen, now, after your death, I finally look at you working under my current age in school after you left school, funny. After the shows, the floral arrangements at St. Anne's, after reading Poe together, I see your notes. You read The Bells, and I think LL. I sang Dream Within a Dream, and who'd know, who'd know you'd become one right after? We pay tolls to get from one stop to the other. We wish for stars and not to become them, wanting to always touch and be. One, after your tie and glasses, neat male pattern, paint cranium circumscribed by the ears, your teacher's hip at Brooklyn College and Columbia U, this is beyond irony, it is. In death, I call you familiarly, first name, chuckle. Now that our paths cannot cross your trail. And it was fun to see you in the mirror, camera turned to the side to see your other half, you in silhouette, profiling for me, clip, clip at the type, writerly way, and this is what we have in common only, not really, besides our affection for Amiri Leroy's Baraka Jones. Icons of mine are not ologies, but eels, optimism. You weren't a 50s cleaver, neither Eldridge nor Wally, but someone did. I make all my OGs rock him most deaf. Should we lie for a poem? We should half truth double negative together, exaggerating in the name of Salvation, second coming, two. It is not the North Star binding us to heaven's twinning, both from the month of heat and flowers. Your birth's earlier, but bound by hands, I declare. Every time we read, wed, you would take my hand and kiss the back, you know, being my kind, and would like that. With jazz and hip hop, that's for me, and bagels, don't forget Bob K, as if. How do you hum? Cosmo, diamond crystals on sunrise ship, stars, rules, shoulders, talking, thinking, doubles, e, dedos, get done, down, Jenner, effractions. How do I get it all in, like you, ticking off each thing, conflagrations, they are not simply your list, they, there are wars, still wars, your prescient self, Nixon in this poem, and in the barrage, the silence of that go-to cat in San Fran, not Ted's, not yet. 
My gen's mind, not as eager as yours to eat from the garden of good and eve. Force-fed McD's, Victorian secret bodies, Craig's meat marketing, refinement of conscription at the watery gate, downing advertisements, words from the same place, same, 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 from all the spots, sound bites, no diff, diff, stiff. One plus one equals one but not us. Three, I wish we had God to call, wish we'd had angles, clear trajectories. I wish we could trust plain ease, logic, common sense. I wish there was a synthesis right now. We are not in the Aquarian age you'd, you're, you'd hoping here and here. Just airy twins everywhere, that cold, hard element. We are not a blend, multiple states revolving, unsolving, the stasis, stilted, omnidirection motion. The Kabbalists intoning now, tree of life is stumped, saying, ohm. Brazilian foliage is a long lawn, and speaking of bored, all the names became curses, imitating, invoking, martyrdom done neon, shallow breathing against ozone. Suntan lotion on the ears of albino kangaroos, watership down under. Portal to hell, I think, deceptively spherical, like a heaven's body. Feeling feline, A.G., sitting on your papers, purring. You bray here, stubborn serious. Bray the moon, pray and pray. Um, and now I just decided to read something else. So my answer to your question was be flexible. And so I'm always changing my mind, much to the consternation of my wonderful musician. And uh, I decided to read something different. Oh, I hope this, okay. It'd be really embarrassing to have to hear it. Computer. Um. Um, this, um, this poem is also inspired by collaboration, um, as all the poems will be in pieces tonight. That one was, of course, in, the first one I read was inspired by um, uh, Howl, of course. And this one is uh, inspired by a collaboration I did on email, via email with Great Charles Bernstein. Where are you, Charles? Oh, yeah. Hi, Charles. Um, <laughs> um, so I won't mess it up by reading his part. I'll only take responsibility for my mess ups. Um, so here's the section after the first section. Should I read your section, Charles? See, he's too easy going. Just read mine. Okay. okay. He's like, that's not, let's not go that far. <laughs> Okay, this, I guess it'll be more evocative if I just read my section too. This is just a section of my section. TM, two, it may concern, it may not concern me, but there is a letter here, two sheets of white between carbon and white out. Member, selectric, every good boy does fine. I was working on this piece, he said, and he ain't made poem. That was then, folks said that. Come in at you, bless you. Folks said that with less frequency, like it's not cool. Even in winter, even with the earth warming every which way, who do? Throwing stones, Mardi Gras, bees and butts and beats. How je ne sais quoi. Quote, my hands can no longer hold my house. Unquote. We love the black masks with boas and all, but not the black death. What's eating you? Ah, the levity. How far apart can we be in a poem, in black and white, subtext on the page, everything equal in the states, white space, but black defines it, right? And it don't stop. Charles, remember when we went to France to the illustrious house of Cartier? Ah, la, la. The foie gras, not foie gras, the frog gras, the frog grass, not to mention the Jewish poem. Benjamin, was it? Seriously, don't mention it. Bad. Or as we say, blood ow. Reference the Bible only, not polite talk, a splash of color among the Murakamis joke. A black woman and a Jewish man walk into a French museum. No rabbi, no priest, but there was wine and two Gauls. Enter Josephine and Baldwin. How continental I felt. 
Oops, wrong continent. You, uh, la 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 lingua franca, trying to hip a sister. But tell the truth, I like the food, the shoes, the lingerie. Victoria's Secret, she a cheap hoe up in ooh la la land, despite Giselle and Tyra. Again, I'm not joking. They got garters like we got Starbucks, got cafes like we got coffee, champagne like we got cola, Algeria like we got Haiti. Wait, that's French and off the table. Okay, you turn two steps. Let's talk about something else. TM4. Sometimes you say something. Sometimes you say something, you're saying some. Sometimes you're saying something and it doesn't really mean anything, does it? Sometimes is when I'm saying sum it up. Some tome when you're saying is sing the sum up. Sometime in when tur the sum is up with the sun. See, there is this up thing, then there is this time. This is thinking. This will mean it is mean to say what you're thinking all the time. I'm saying at work, at business, you keep your mind busy, but not to saying the outside, the nest. The nest. When you are resting, you can say what you're thinking to yourself. This is during the break. If you take a break at work, this is not resting, and you can't say what you think there, even if you're busy, you could be heard. I start with a hearty meaning, I mean meal, grits to be specific. It is morning based, except when you are A from Virginia, B from Jamaica, Jamaica, C. I was little. My grandparents had been split up, child with fro pigtails exactly two weeks after the straightening comb. I sat this before my grandmother was half Indian. I've said it in print even, but she was black enough when she talked about crackers over handmade biscuits. Seriously, that's how she talked over cornbread, postured over meal. The only thing that kept her race, both of the above, going was integration, and I didn't mean it in that Coretta rest in peace way. Bougie, yes, but not rested. She was not a squaw neither. Motor City say, hell no. Georgia Blackfoot, she says. I wondered if that was some pun. Genetic dice, play the numbers. She was all over them grits and smoked pork chops, whole cakes, fluffy eggs cooked hard enough with that old-fashioned mild cheese chi with carnation canned milk coffee in an unfiltered palm mall cigarette, an ashtray miniature seasoned cast iron skillet with a dip for the tip. Her grandparents' people couldn't claim the whole stove down to its location. I took after my grandpa's, hence the texture and the lymph. I met these two leather pant clad Cote d'Ivoirean artists, spoke un Parisian French, locks past the bubble in them jeans, accoutrement gold beads, claro que si. Grandma called herself black and looked like a lady on a brass dollar. Grandpa would always come over for Sundays for brunch, and it was ready. She kept chicken gravy neat. Smoke eating a heart out, BC powder and Coca-Cola and kids. Mercy, no axe to grind after the split, more than civil. Grits, but no gripe or gritty grub. No idea how she did, no respite, no bile, no requisite Bible. How she kept from judging people. But this is not an obit, I take after her. I take and take, I judge, I resent, I recollect, I represent, I dissent. Are you angry these days? I'm teething. TM6, Brooklyn is changed, five on the dollar, organic, smorgasbordanic. I had this gig, see, very experimental, capitalizing on the aesthetic, ethnic, ethic, transgress, cool, the 61 is a bus, and now a mahogany bar above Nouvelle Mohicas. On the corner of Union and a side street, I plant my faux strappy blonic feet at the stop. <sighs> What the subs are for the city buses are for the B gay. Talk about the yokels. I didn't know the day Brooklyn changed until I felt comfortable not speaking to my neighbors. I knew I'd have arrived. Ypsilanti is the most famous unknown town I've ever lived in. Does Renfrest involve bird watching? I saw a robin in the distance here and thought it was a wounded pigeon. Where are the coos cooing anyway? Huckabuck, where's your Buick? You ain't no real gander. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that. Um, oh. I'm just gonna read a couple more poems for uh, Bring on the True uh, performer. This is um, an excerpt from um, If I Reviewed Her. Um, my next book, Hand Holding Five Kinds, is the conversations with other artists and um, it's five conversations. Um, John Cage's 433, um, Gertrude Stein's Tender Buttons, Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut, um, um, John Acomfra's Seven Song from Malcolm X, and Kurt Schritter's Ursonata. Um, this piece is um, 
it was inspired by somebody asked me, I think it was a Jack of Two, <laughs> asked me to do a review in the 100th anniversary of Tender Buttons, and um, it got rather long, so I'll only read the first part. If I reviewed her, if I reviewed her, I reviewed her, 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 her button, her boutonniere, her boobala, her boo, her two, two, her tookless, her view, her book, book, herbal. If I viewed her like I used to, I talked to, I teased her, I teach her, I reach, I review. If if was a fifth, black letters, black POV, red sonata, er words, sona salon. If I revved up, I could view her through another glass, tuck glass, another poem. What's a smatter shattering? That piece of bright bling attached to a cloth with sharp edges, rounded or a time, a button, a carafe. What patterns class? What suits you? What symbols? What Sabians, Armenians, Jews, Germans, black Americans, Euro detritus, explitus, I wonder. The gratitude of mercy is not explained, is it made plain? The nose on your face, la la la, V and rose, what colors rise? View find it the size of a nickel, a dime, the side of it, to the side of a button, the way it hems the pocket, the way you finger it, the pointed nature. Blood in the face, blood on the leaves, it's a violet hue, it shifts from blue, a shift is a ditty dress. Dirty is yellow at points. Whitest whites are not coal colored, not coal. What's matter? A large box clocks handily, it cloaks. When I do count the clack that tells what ivory sign to be or note. Lilies are what are white unless tiger, unless striped, unless latitude, unless an unstilled to etude. What's the sound in that box? What kind of box is it? Harmonica, piano, coffin, shoe, mask of red, of Venice, of re revenge, of reverb. The purpose of a box is to let things bounce around inside, not out. They're all maracas, all boxes, all cojones, and that is why there aren't brass ones. They're bells and open at the bottom like a review. Stepping up to the plate to review is base. It is grounded. It's dirty. It's around. It's cutting corners like sports for war. It's saying pens mighty are a tool, a gourd, assessments, or objects alchemical and base. At the bottom is Jimmy Cobb in Miles' kind of color. Chambers, music from an engorged lightning in a bottleneck. The fretting comes plated. The strings curve around the fingers. S, a female shape, a dress, a Tiffany lamp, a vamp to a test, to a taste, petite four fours. A swallow bubbles, bubbles up words, polite Tourette's, a set of words water the mouth. They are things that take shape and glide down the throat, taken a back to back, a carbonation, a turbonation, a turn, the bubbles, Brooklyn circles, sweet, simple syrup, another slender needle, a recording, these pieces of a house of hers, her work, her dust, her polishing, the dark places gleam in this paper stock card house and its phenome particles across the board, a rainbow. Places to go red again, wheelbarrow. Another poet who knows how, to, how a black comb can be placed in the hair. How the sun sets in the wide Caribbean sea after raining. How brilliant colors are the state of things when the daily clouds are not dark gray. The two ralu ralu ral relocate. Green is red blend in. A blue coat is not a red coat in this regard. A blue coat is bluer and a red coat redder. The gray is tin pan alleys, the percussive keys, New York. There is not the softness the name implies, but the black and white holds up. Color, that quick rhythm. The 88 lucky numbers one hopes one hits. Dark custom and no grayscale. A hardened snapshot, snap shuts. A bedspread, a throw, a throwaway line, a carved grapevine on a chair's feet in the drawing room, an appointed room. The man with the scythe flutters the veil. More dark custom. The facts of dark matter. The wake. This is a show, a showing, having a seat and muted tones. Scones, dirty dishes and crumbs. After all this, after all this heartache, this bruise, she has to do the washing too after she sits, after she breaks down. They had envelopes to the bride. She goes around, around in white, puts them in her purse. Why don't they do that in the other service? That's when she'll need it. That's when she'll need it. All she has in it is keys, lipsticks, handkerchiefs, small, hard things, lace. She needs a crinoline in there wrapped by a bubble, rubber band. She holds the handle, it's raining, gray tears, mask, mascara, the day replaying over suds, over salsa, over lays, mother of pearl handle, white hunter's animal horn also mounted by him, her mounted by him. The pallbearers pick him up. Both he and she are lighter. She must have been pulled up by the winds on this grain day, streaks on the photo, she wipes. Grapes leaves, grape stems, the motif, a universal, a drink, bottle, cup, glass, this earthenware variety for different reasons, these belongings, these things she squeezes, she sees, she swings, swig, liquid, the color of rain, she mends it, brittle paper mache, construction card, a tree sliced thinner than cake, still life through knock wood. 
origami with eyes, markers, crayon, wax, a seal of something, a promissory notation, a jot, drops dropping, still wearing her coat, deciding. Under that coat, a coat. Under that black, white. She is in between coats. She is a prism, a triangle of a waist, the scythe, the window, the fire. I'll just leave that. Um, and this is um, improvised, so we'll see what happens. Um, it's improvised based on Kurt Schwitter's Ursonata. Um, um, somebody asked me, I think it was you, Charles, um, did I um, look at the score? And um, I didn't. So I just wanted to have the experience with his sound. Um, so this one I'm going to do is from uh, Converse With. Is with uh, I think I'll do Dritter Tell. It's the third one in Ursonata. Oka. 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 Lanka tur. Lanka. Turka, 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 Languita, 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 See you, see you, Languita, see you, Languita, see you, Dumtuf, Dumtuk, Dumtuk, See you, see you, Languita, see you, Languita, see you, Rum, Languita, Kur. Languiter cur. Oka, oka. Lanker cutter. Pee pee pee. Lanker turger. Lanker, lanker turger. Lanker, lanker turger. Rum, rum, rum. Lanker, lanker turger. Look, oka, oka. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you, see you, you, see you, you, see you, oka, oka, langer, turker, see you. Oh, see you, you, 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 see 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 you, langer, turker, see you, see you, see you, oka, langer, turker, see you. See you, Lanker Tucker. See you, Turka. Oka, Turka. Oka, Lanker Tucker. Lanker Tucker. Languid, languid, Lanker Tucker. Lanker Tucker. See you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you. Lanker Tucker, Lanker Tucker, Lanker Tucker. Oka. Lanker turk, lanker turk, lanker. Rum, 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 rum. Oka, lanker turk. Oka, 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 oka. Lanker turk. Lanker turk, languid, lanker, lang, languid turk. Oka, 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 turk. Lanker turk, langer, langer turk. Oka, oka. Right, um, I keep thinking that the way that he does that is like a, he's like sneaking in some weird bossa nova that he doesn't realize it, because it's like, I'm just like, but it's so funky, and he just goes, nah. I love it. Um, yeah, the last, the last one I'm going to do by myself is uh, also inspired by a, uh, great sound artist, um, Mahalia Jackson. And um, I've said this before when I've read it, it's still true. Um, it's based on Afrofuturist ideal that was presented by Mahalia Jackson. And on the one side, and futurist notions of uh, Leon um, Theremin. And they were both emerging as sound artists at the same time. And so I thought that they were both presenting another vision of the future. You guys know who Leo Theremin is? He is the Theremin. He's got that weird thing that's in science fiction movies a lot that goes mm, like that. The weird, yeah. So I thought, so this is called Mahalia Theremin. <clears throat> I need some water. Do this, Paul.
Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, fit the battle of battle of battle. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle, fit the battle, fit the battle. That Joshua fit the battle. Battle of Jericho and the walls came tumbling. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and the walls came. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and the walls came. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and the. Joshua fit the battle of. Joshua fit the battle of. Joshua fit. Joshua fit the battle. Joshua fit the battle. Joshua fit. Joshua fit. Joshua <laughs> Wonderful Marvin Sewell. What can I say about Marvin Sewell while he sets up? He's a genius. I've been playing with him longer than any musician, period. And I'm very honored that he is able to join me here tonight. So um, some of the stuff that we're doing is d I wrote, and some of it um, other people wrote. We're doing something different with it because we don't want it. Superstitious, but a black cat just crossed my trail. No, I ain't superstitious, but a black cat just crossed my trail. Don't you sweep me with your broom, I might get put up in jail. When my right hand itches, I get money for show. When my right hand itches, I got money for show. 
But when my left I jump, somebody's gotta go. Well, I ain't superstitious, but a black cat just crossed my trail. Who me? I'm an academic, not superstitious, but a black cat's over there. Don't you sweep me with that broom. I ain't responsible for what goes on in here. Well, the dogs are howling all over the neighborhood. Yeah, the dogs are howling all over Chelsea's neighborhood. But that's the sign of death, baby. Nah, that ain't no good. Well, I ain't superstitious, but a black cat just crossed my trail. No, I ain't superstitious, but a black cat just crossed my trail. Don't you sweep me with that broom. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Bad luck for me. That's bad luck for me. Bad luck for me. I had a, a white student once who was, uh, well, I've had a white student more than once, but I had a white student once at, in Detroit, near who would live in Detroit, and we were talking about race and race protocols. He's like, don't touch black people. And she's like, oh, yeah, I worked in a restaurant. Don't sweep around black people's feet. And I was like, all right, grasshopper. <laughs> This is officially a sex poem, Vincent. curse in his parted hair the curves in his parted hair the curves in his parted hair 
The curves in his parted hair make me think, make tracks. I am moved by his comfort. How does this thing work on me? I have no notion. My arms are open third rails. I bop my head only in memory. There is this. This man, child, with his driving, choo-choo, whistle and the uniform's right. He appears to conduct himself and I. A runaway train The curves in his parted hair The curves in his parted hair Hair, 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 hair. And it's part of here Make me think, make tracks I am moved, I am moved, I am moved I am moved by his comfort How does this thing work on me? I no notion My arms, my arms, my, my, my arms My arms are open third rails. I bop my head only in memory. There is this. This man, child, with his driving. Choo, choo, choo. Whistle and the uniform's right. He appears to conduct himself and I. I'm a runner, and I. I'm a runner, and I. I, 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 and I, 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 I. I'm a runaway, and I, 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 and I, 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 I'm a runaway. I'm a runaway. I'm a runaway. I'm a runaway. Thank you. Come on now, come on now. What you think, what you thought I brought? Who you thought I brought here? This, this piece um, is actually a poem. It's in my first full book. Um, and I wrote it for Marvin. Marvin's from Chicago. He is very Chicago. He's very, very Chicago. But we have claimed him for Brooklyn. Um, so we were talking about our families, and I was talking about the family for Vincent, too. And um, this is sort of about the great migration that went to Chicago, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's called Getaway 1928. <laughs>
back up and hit it. Road warrior got the big one. Like the dip of urban areas, a trip far gone. Kick the dusty boots, the segregated troops moving on. Move them on. Take them off the farm scene, the parry, uh huh. Hard to yes, boss, after Frank of Phillip got some. Brothers swing low, bells chime, sweet French quiches, boy. In the U.S., all oh, man to Paris. Scared of crows, plot condemned, no way couldn't keep them. Flee to the steel belt, work-related health reasons. Uh-huh. Rusty still got the clay baked to his pain face. Collard green and whole cake withdrawal from his mama place. Foul hawk breezing through with the Negro Northern news. You ain't never far away enough to not to need the blue. Pack up and hit it now. Pack up and hit it, Ro Warrior got the big one. Like the dipper, earn an herby is a trip far gone. Click the dusty boots, the segregated troops moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Take them off the farm and seen the parry, uh huh. Hard to yes, boss, after Frank of Philly got some. Brother swing low, bells chime, sweet French quiches, boy. In the US, all mantra Parisian. Uh-huh. Scared of crows, plot condemned, no way couldn't keep them flee to the steel belt, work-related health reasons. Rusty Gill got the clay bait to his pain face, collard green and whole cake withdrawal from his mama place. Bow her reason through with the Negro Northern news, you ain't never, ever, 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 ever. You ain't never, 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 never. You ain't never, 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 never. You ain't never far away. The blues. Pack up and hit it now. Pack up and hit it now. Pack up and hit it now. I think this is a very good value to this evening. Just saying. <laughs> Sheila, Marvin, just saying. Thanks so much for having us. No, oh, <laughs> it's my pleasure. <sighs> Such a fancy neighborhood. So Jackie, didn't black people used to live in this neighborhood? An anthropologist in the house. It's changed in the years. Money. Mm -hmm. 
Get away Get a good job with good pay And you're okay Money It's a guess Grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. New car, caviar, four star daydream. Think I'm gonna buy me one of them Barclays Center teams with my money. Get back I'm alright Jack Just keep your hands off my stack Money It's a hit Don't give me that Do goody non-profit bullshit <laughs> I 
always thought that this piece was a ghost story. I'm interpreting it as that. Um, it's uh, based on um, an Edgar Allan Poe piece, Edgar Allan Poe series, um, poem, Edgar Allan Poe poem. And I 
read this for the first time, a tribute to Ed Gallipo, where Allen Ginsberg was present. or in none is it therefore the less gone all that we see or see is but a dream
Last tune. This is for the writers in the house. It's just like everybody here. And so I was like, well, I have to do this one. This is actually, we figured it out on rehearsal. This is actually a rap, even though the music is not hip hop. It is rhyme. I was like, Delight, my writers delight, my writers delight for life, 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 life. My writers delight to meta one, two, three, four, score with words, active as verbiage rounds out primordial sounds. My my writers display back in the day, snake charming, voracious contemplation. Fade to black and smack dab in history, mysterious backdraft, a liquid consistency, words, smithering tongue curls, quilling the silence. No more sounds empower their nether surroundings. Pounding shores of heartbeat, simile metronome. Like why won't go bed and bar gospel sounds at home? Jambalaya jamming sound black to me, like I take it higher in a jazz soliloquy. Rock and rap, fat sang, view musical thrills. Void Hills, Hendrix, Phil's voice, Phil's Hendrix, voice, Phil's Hendrix, little wing, a decoy that's willing. Tripping at the tip of a cup of the swill. Chilling words, think I vampirically drank my feast, the ink extending my kind's line. Binded in my timeless memories, tick tock, tick tock, twig, quick, quick, twig, sound shift from land mouse to sea, improvising on a mile, mile, a miles train melody. Nat Duke, turn a cold freedom ring, swings the shout out, sound waves loud, moving the envelope while pushing the crowd. Fiercely proud, you to like cuddles, cubs, the words and music, big up reggae dub. The Pride of Cruz rep, liberation in clubs. Wielding weight of each generation with the sacrosanct promise of a host of nation, notions of potent and splendid reflection. On the strength continuing links up connections. Engulfing sonic, engulfing sonic, engulfing sonic, revolutionaries, eclectic vision. The rhythm, 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 the rhythm. Must be on a mission, must be on a mission. Engulfing sonic, revolutionaries, eclectic vision. The rhythm, 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 must be on the riddle of rhythm, must be on the riddle of rhythm, must be on the mission. Marada, da 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 Life for lifeline. Duke, turn it cold, king, freedom rings. Swing, a shout out, sound waves loud. Moving the envelope while pushing the crowd. The rhythm, 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 the rhythm. The rhythm must be on a mission. Must be on a mission. A ride is a light, a met a ride is a light, a met a ride is a light, a met a one, two, three, one, two, three, four.
right as a light to met one, two, three, four. Thanks. The great Marvin Sewell. Fabulosa, Sheila Patterson. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Dia.